Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Victoria and for today's video we are going to be do some, doing something that I have been meaning to do for a very long time. It is a video that I think I saw McKay from Oh Hey It's McKay do like months ago and I've been wanting to do it for months um, and I'm finally now getting around to it. That is clearing out my Goodreads want to read. Um, my Goodreads TBR. I've had an account for a long time, but I've only really started like using it really since 2019, I think. Um, and so I have something like 500 books in my TBR, and there are a lot of books on there that I don't want to read anymore, but they're still in my uh, TBR, and I would like to clear at least some of it out. I am not going to go through my whole 500 book Goodreads shelf uh, of want to read but I'm going to try and get the number down uh, a little bit and go through a couple of pages of Goodreads to get through some of the ones so that when I actually do want to find a book I can just go to my Goodreads TBR and find something that I want to read and that it's not like oh I don't actually want to read that oh I don't actually want to read that anymore. So I'm gonna share my screen and we are gonna do this. It's gonna be fun. So we're gonna go over to want to read. I was pretty close. I said 500, there's 490. Um, and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, it's currently alphabetized by author, but I think I'm gonna go to date added. Right off the bat here, I see a book that I don't want to read anymore. I see a couple already. Um, so first, The Bride Bet by Tessa Dare. This is a book that I definitely still want to read. It's a historical romance. I've been wanting to read it since it was freaking announced and it was supposed to come out in I think 2021, 2020 maybe even. It was supposed to come out and it's been pushed back and it still hasn't come out yet which is super frustrating. Um, so I still definitely want to read that. Sarah McLean's uh, Wicked and the Wallflower I also think I'm still gonna leave on here. I have read a couple of Sarah McLean books. Uh, Nine Rules to Break When Romancing a Rake is one of my favorite historicals and that's by Sarah McLean. But I did try and read recently two newer Sarah McLean books that I did not like. One of them was so boring and I think I gave it three stars. And then the other one, I literally DNF'd. It was terrible. Um, I just couldn't get through it. It was so boring. While I'm not loving her new stuff, I do want to try some of her older stuff and I know that the Bare Knuckle, Bare Knuckle Bastard series is one that people like a lot. So I'm gonna leave that on there. But the one that I did notice right away is Beach Read by Emily Henry. I've had this on my TBR since 2020 when it came out and I actually own a physical copy of it. I think I bought it on one of my like trips out and it happened to be one of the rare ones that I bought without reading it yet. And I haven't read it. I haven't had any desire to pick it up. I really don't think that it's going to be for me. It's not my style, really. I don't love traditionally published romances, first of all. And I just don't think that Emily Henry is going to be an author that I reach for. So I am going to remove this from my shelf. Good. Oh, I hope it doesn't go all the way back to the beginning every time I do that. Oh man, that would be annoying. The next one is Restless Slumber by KJ Sutton, which I'm also going to remove. Rush by Candy Steiner, I still want to read. Hands Down by Marina Spada, I definitely still want to read. I don't even know what her errant Earl is. None of my friends have read it. It doesn't ring a bell and it doesn't have super great ratings considering it only has a thousand ratings. Uh, the Duke by Kerrigan Byrne, I've read this book. I'm not sure why it's in um, my want to read shelf. So we're gonna just change that to red. Uh, Accidentally Compromising the Duke by Stacey Reed. I've read, I think, one or two of her books, and I think I actually did try reading Accidentally Compromising the Duke once, and I just wasn't in a historical mood and ended up having to put it down, but I do want to still read it. Uh, same thing with Diana Quincy, Her Night with the Duke. I did try and start reading it one time and just was not in a historical mood. Amelie Howard, I liked one of her books. I'm going to continue that. A Night to Surrender by Tessa Dare is another one that I've also already read. I don't know why some of these are in here. This is by Sierra Simone, so I'm going to leave it in there just because it's Sierra Simone. Lisa Claypis, I'm going to leave it in here. Any Justice Will Do by Tessa Dare. I think this is one of the Tessa Dares that I haven't read yet. I think I've read only the beginning of her Spinal Cove series. 
Someone to Watch Over Me by Lisa Kleypas. This is the um, Amnesia one. Um, and I also read this one. I don't know why some of these are on here when I have read them before. Uh, the Wicked Deeds of Daniel McKenzie. This one is one that I was like, I loved the rest of the McKenzie series. Um, I, it was the um, series that starts with the, the madness of Lordy and McKenzie, and then it goes um, Lady Isabella's uh, Scandalous Marriage and those ones. And I loved that series. I actually got my mom to read that series, and she loved it. Um, and this is the next one in it. I'm going to leave it on there because it is one that I did love the rest of the series, but I'm not sure if I do want to continue just because I did love the like original main brothers in the series. This Earl of Mine by Kate Bateman I'm going to leave on there. I really love Kate Bateman's writing. The Bride by Julie Garwood staying on there. I think I'm going to love that book. I can't believe I haven't read it yet. Duke of Midnight by Elizabeth Hoyt is another one. One Last Stop by Casey McQuiston. I think I'm going to leave this on here even though I'm not... I've, I'm not super interested in it, but I'm going to leave it on here because I know that Tori from Novel Life really loved it. So I'm going to leave it on there and hope that I will like it. Spoiler alert by Olivia Dade, I am going to remove. Queen Move by Kennedy Ryan is definitely one I still want to read. The Infatuation um, is book one in the Josh and Kat trilogy, um, and I do want to read that. The Club Obsession by I already read. I did not really like it, but I already read it. Hello Forever by, uh, actually this is Serena Bowen. It is the only Serena Bowen book that I haven't read yet. I don't know why I haven't read it yet. I'm gonna leave it on there. Haven by Rebecca Weatherspoon is one that I've been wanting to read for a really long time. I actually own the audiobook and I think that, I can't remember what their book club is called, but Nikki and McKay's book club is doing Haven in one of the months. It might even be this month and I am gonna try and read it when they read it. One Good Earl Deserves a Lover by Sarah McLean. Same thing, Sarah McLean, I'm gonna leave on. A Very Highland Christmas by Jennifer Ashley. I already read this. Enthralled by Gianna Darling, I definitely wanna read. That is actually the next Gianna Darling series that I'm hoping to get to. Come to Daddy by Brianna Hale. I've never read from Brianna Hale. I don't love a daddy kink though. We'll leave it for now. Crown of Gilded Bones by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I was very confident that I was going to stop reading the series and that I was just gonna, because I absolutely loved book one and book two, and I just liked where book two left it. Like, I know it, it ended on a cliffhanger, but I liked where the characters were at and I liked how the characters were at the end of book two. And so I'm worried that if I continue the series that the author is gonna screw up the idea of the characters that I have in my head. So I was very confident that I was going to stop the series and not continue and then I posted a video of series that I will not, was not going to finish. Um, I will link that video below if you haven't seen it. Um, and a bunch of people commented and were like please read, continue reading the Blood Nash series. So I'll leave it on there. Maybe I will try and get to it. Uh, Karis Michaels, A Duchess for a Day, I'm gonna leave on here. I do want to try at least one Karis Michaels. I've heard mixed things about her books um, but I do want to try them. On the Way to the Wedding is the last Julia Quinn book. It's the um, book eight in the Bridgerton series. And I read half of this and I didn't finish it. Um, and I don't know if I'm ever going to finish it, but I don't know if I should mark it as read and like officially DNF it because I did read like a good 60% of it <laughs> or if I should just remove it from my TBR. We're gonna just click remove. Okay. Um, Wrong Bed, Right Guy is Katie Robert. I don't know if I want to go back and read some of her old ones. We'll leave it for now. Secrets of a Summer Night is the Wallflowers book one. I thought I read the entire Wallflowers series. Yeah, Annabelle and Simon. I read this book. Ah, stupid freaking Goodreads is telling me that I haven't read things. I've read this book. Duke I'd Like to F. I, this is an anthology. Anthologies are really hard for me because... I want to read, only ever want to read like a couple of the novellas, but I do own this one and I will try and read at least some of the novellas, so I'm going to leave it on there. This is the same Sarah McLean, same thing with this Sarah McLean. Earl of Christmas Past by Kerrigan Byrne, I'm going to leave on. That's a novella. Her Wicked Marquess by Stacey Rude, we're going to leave Sarah McLean. Susan Enoch 
is another historical author. I've read one of her books and I did enjoy it. I think I gave it four stars. So we're gonna leave that one on there. Same thing with the Stacey Reed. Okay. Torn by Carrion Cole is one that I am not sure about. This is the one that's like super age gap, right? Okay. Five stars from Crystal, five stars from Christy, 4.25 from Christy, five stars from Juliet Cross, four stars from Lacey, four stars from Naima, four stars from Natasha. Wow. A lot of my friends liked this. Oh, five stars from Caitlin, 17 and 32. That's not bad. That's like Welcome to the dark side. I like that I just referred to 17, 32 year olds as not bad. God, reading romance has really changed me. Um, I'm gonna leave it. Maybe I'll read that one. Uh, Axel by Samantha Whiskey, I'm going to remove. I did not like, I've read two Samantha Whiskey, Samantha Whiskey books and I did not love them. Chance Jacob, I have no idea what this is. Ooh, it's surprise pregnancy. We're gonna remove it. Sounds like books that I've read before. There was a time when I literally added every single possible hockey romance I could find to my TBR. And there are a lot of those, so we're gonna remove this one too. Hooked, another, another hockey one. Yeah, no, we're gonna remove that too, okay. Again, The Magic by Lisa Kleypas, we are absolutely leaving on here. I am embarrassed to say I haven't read that yet. I will read it. I promise it's going to happen. I promised Samantha from Books with Samantha that I would read it. Uh, Sweet Home by Tilly Cole. I'm going to leave it on here just for the fact that it's Tilly Cole. Um, the Revenge Pact by Ilsa Madden Mills. I think I'm going to remove. Um, I've read a couple of Ilsa Madden Mills books. They're usually like three, three and a half stars. They're not bad, but they're like not super my thing and I'd rather spend time reading things that I actually really like. Bad for the Boss by Tali Hibbert we're gonna leave on simply for the fact that it's Tali Hibbert. Erica Ridley we're gonna leave on because I do really want to read this series. What is this one? Break Line. Pro Surfer. We're gonna leave it. Honestly, I have never, I don't think I've read a surfer romance and the hero's name is Bash and I love that. Uh, Until It Fades by K.A. Tucker. We're gonna leave this one. Full Measures by Rebecca Yaros, I'm going to leave for sure. Final Play by Eden Finley, I have read. Boom. Lost Duke of Wyndham by Julia Quinn. I think that this is the one that I tried reading and didn't really like. Hunter by Summer, Eden Summers. I'm gonna leave it. I don't know why. It just sounds kind of interesting. Seducing a Stranger by Kerrigan Byrne. We're gonna leave. The one that got away by Karina Halley is the follow-up, like, spin-off with different couple of um, The Forbidden Man by Karina Halley. The Forbidden Man is one of my all-time favorite books. But the one that got away has really bad reviews. A lot of my friends didn't like it, and I tried reading it once and was super bored. Do I give up? I think I will. These ones, Sweetheart and Cakewalk, were ones that I added because they were in Serena Bowen's World of True North, and I think I'm going to delete them. The Pool Boy by Nikki Sloan, I am definitely going to leave. I really wanted to read that one. I'm really sad that I didn't get to it in the summer. I'm going to try next summer. Wild in Love by Eloisa James. This is a series that I really want to read, the Wild series by um, Eloisa James. I love series that follow family members, and I think that one in a historical setting would be great. That Second Chance by Megan Quinn is her small town romances that I haven't read yet, so I'm going to leave those. The Invitation by Vi Keeland, we are going to remove. Um, then we have The Raketh of Roth, we're gonna leave. What is this one? I think I'm gonna remove it. The Air He Breathes, I still want to read. The Wreckage of Us, maybe. Honestly, Brittany C. Cherry is one that I don't know if I will like. Her books are very emotional. I know that so many people like them, but they're very emotional and they're very angsty and the one that I tried I DNF'd, so I'm not sure how it'll go. Um, but I'm gonna leave them for now because I think that my friends will be really sad if I removed them. <laughs> the Player by Claire Contreras. I've never read Claire Contreras. We're gonna leave that. Waiting for a Scott Like You by Eva Lee. I thought I had read, actually. Punk 57 by Penelope Douglas, we're going to leave, even though I'm not sure that I'm gonna read it, but I do own it. It's right here. 
well but so i'm gonna leave it because i would like to try and get to it just because i do own it fall back skyward by autumn gray i'm gonna leave because i know that brie from love and words loves it but it's very emotional so we're not sure um priest by sierra simone i definitely want to read captive by jane lex this looks interesting he's taken prisoner by a seductive incubus who feeds off sexual energy. Uh, we're gonna leave this because that sounds really interesting. Chase Lee Bitten by Lexi Foss is one that I'm gonna leave because I feel like if I, it's like a good one to have on there for whenever I get into like a paranormal type mood. The Heiress Gets a Duke by Harper St. George. I tried reading the beginning of it and just wasn't in the mood for it, but my mom actually read the whole series. I gave her the whole series to read um, when she was looking for historicals and she really liked the whole series so I'll leave it on there. Mr. Masters, the Italian and Mr. Spencer are all going to get removed though. I have tried to read other T.L. Swan books and the only T.L. Swan book that I love is The Takeover but I just don't really care about the rest of her series. I did try reading two or three others and I just did not like them. Uh, Transcendence is gonna stay. The Devil in the Deep Blue Sea. This is one that I remember reminded some of my friends of Sea of Ruins, so we're gonna leave it. King of Shadows by Amelia Wilde. Nope. The only person who of my friends who read it is Jen and she gave it three stars, so we're gonna remove it. Part of the Fae by Emma Hamm I'm also gonna remove. Prince Charming by Kay Webster is book two in a series that I haven't read. So we're gonna remove it and we'll, if I, I come across book one we'll maybe check it out but claimed by an alien warrior by tiffany roberts i'm gonna leave i do really want to try reading a tiffany roberts book oh my god my lighting is so bad i'm so sorry um i do really want to try and read a tiffany roberts book um so maybe we'll be it'll be that one this one we're gonna remove uh snow spelled by stephanie burgess we're also gonna remove uh, Soul Fire by Juliet Cross we're gonna leave simply because it's Juliet Cross. Kennedy Ryan's Real we're absolutely going to leave. Cold Hearted Rake by Lisa Clavis we're gonna leave. Bound by Honor by Cora Riley we are going to remove. I've never read a Cora Riley book and I do not plan to. Falling Into Bed with a Duke by Lorraine Heath I absolutely want to read. Falls Boys by Penelope Douglas I'm not sure about so we're gonna leave it. A Way to Be Wicked by Tessa Dares in the Spindle Cove series, and I've read it. I don't know why this series is in here. 40 Love by Olivia Dade, I think I'm going to remove. I read Teach Me and I enjoyed it, um, but not enough to continue like with Olivia Dade. Two Rogues Make a Right by Kat Sebastian is an MM historical, so I'm going to leave it. Want to Bet by Talia Hibbert, I'm going to leave. Ink Miss by Talia Hibbert, I'm going to leave. These are all Talia Hibbert. Uh, Kerrigan Burns, I'm going to leave also. Sweet Talking Lover by Tracy Livesay. I'm actually going to remove. I tried uh, putting it on multiple TBRs for my Polycon because she was going to be at a Polycon and I just did not pick it up or care. Uh, Beverly Jenkins we're going to leave. I did read two Beverly Jenkins that I've liked so we're going to leave her. I don't know what this one is. Dirty Kisses. It's a mafia romance that a lot of my friends have liked, so we're going to leave that. Birthday Shop by Rosie Adams, we're going to leave. Still by Kennedy Ryan. Block Shop by Kennedy Ryan, we're going to leave. Able by Katie Robert, I think I'm actually going to remove. Uh, Go Deep by Rosie Adams, we're going to leave. Protecting the Heiress by Nana Malone, we're going to remove. I haven't liked any of the Nana Malone books that I've read. Loretta Chase, Laura Sandler, we're absolutely going to leave. Grading Curve by Naima Simone, we are going to leave that. I remember Jess posting uh, a, about authors going to a polycon and some of her favorite books by them, and this one was on Naima Simone, so we're going to leave it. Love Only Once by Joanna Lindsay, we're going to leave. Tales of Darkness and Sin is a anthology, we're going to leave. American Dreamer by Adriana Herrera, I'm going to leave on there. I don't know if I'll ever read it, but I'm going to leave it on there because I have never read an Adriana Herrera and if I do decide to try and read one, this is going to be it. Dreaming of You by Lisa Kleypas. We're going to stay deeper. Rosie Adams. These are all going to stay. I've already removed almost 40 books from this. So that is really exciting. 
So the first one on this page is Sanctuary by Rebecca Weatherspoon. That's in the series that Haven is in. We're going to leave it. Just Like Heaven by Julia Quinn is in the Smith Smith Quartet. It's book one and I really want to read that quartet. So I'm going to leave that one. If the Duke Demands by Anna Harrington, I'm absolutely going to leave. It's one of Jess's favorite historicals. A King So Cold by Ella Fields I'm going to leave because I remember a couple of my friends sharing it and they really liked it. This is the Kennedy Ryan. It's going to stay. This is TLS1. It's going to be removed. The Fall by May Archer is also going to be removed. So is Like Lovers Do by Tracy Livesay. Office Hours by Katrina Jackson is going to stay. This is going to be removed. The Heiress Hunt by Joanna Shoup is the first book in the Fifth Avenue Rebel series and I own it. Um, and I've read the rest of the series and I absolutely love the rest of the series but I know that this one just like fell flat for people. I'm gonna leave it on there in case I do decide to read it but it, it, it is one that a lot of, it fell flat for a lot of people. Rebel by Violet Beverly Jenkins we're gonna stay. Bride Test by Helen Wong I have read. The Rebel King I have read. How dare you? Um Midwinter Mail Order Bride I think I'm gonna remove. This I'm absolutely gonna remove. I don't even know what that is. Okay, then we have Moonshot by Alessandra Torres. This is a baseball romance that I tried and I didn't, couldn't get into it. So we're going to remove it. Flock by Kate Stewart is going to stay for now, but I have very mixed thoughts about whether I will read it. Architect by Nikki Sloan, we're going to leave. Silver Tongued Devil by Rosalind James, we're going to remove. The Fastest Way to Fall by Denise Williams, I'm actually going to stay. His Beauty by Jack Harbin is going to stay. How to Fill Up Flirting is going to stay. I think I might love you by Christina C. Jones, The Obsession, this one, this one. I am going to remove this one. This is a book my brother loves and he was trying to get me to read. Um, I have read The Hating Game. The Mermaid's Kiss, I am going to remove. Okay, so for uh, A Strange Hymn and Dark Harmony by Laura Thalassa. This is book two and I'm so sorry the lighting is so bad. This is book two and three in the Bargainer series. I read book one so I think I'm just gonna leave book two and get rid of book three because I don't know how I'll feel about book two so I don't want to have book three on there. Basically for series unless that they can be read as a standalone I don't want to have all of them. So like Sanctuary by Rebecca Weatherspoon, I'm going to leave even though it's book two and Harper's book three because they're different couples. So they're like actually more like standalones. Um, same thing with Emperor of Evening Stars by Laura Thalassa. I'm going to remove it because it is book 2.5. A Promise of Darkness by Beck McMaster. I'm going to leave. I remember really wanting to read that, but it doesn't have an audiobook. So I'm going to leave it just because if I ever get a chance to read a book that doesn't have an audiobook or if it ever ma gets made into an audiobook, I want to remember it. Spinning Out by Lexi Ryan. Um, I'm going to remove. I remember some of my friends talking about it and not liking it. Uh, Shadows Kiss by T.M. Hart. I have no idea what this is. I'm just going to remove it. Once and Always by Judith McNaught, we are going to leave. Dial A for Aunties by Jesse Satanto. I don't know if I'm going to love this, but it's one of my best friend's favorite books, so I'm going to leave it for her. Uh, she will, she really wants me to read it, so for her I will try. Cocky Chef by J.D. Hawkins, I'm going to remove uh, Nicholas, The Lords of, um, I'm going to remove this, I don't know what that is. The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss, I am never going to read, much to my little brother's dismay. It is his all-time favorite book and I'm just not about it. Book one in the Maiden Lane series, I'm going to leave. I do love some of the books that I've read in the Maiden Lane series. A Gathering, uh, Show Me the Way by A.L. Jackson, uh, I think I'm going to leave just because um, I think I might like that one. A Touch of Stone and Snow by Milla Vane, I'm going to remove. I read book one, I don't plan on reading book two. A Door by Ella James, we are going to remove. The Winter King by C.L. Wilson, we are also going to remove. Just not, I just know my taste better now and I'm just not interested. Uh, the Queen of All That Dies is by Laura Thalassa. Maybe we'll leave that just because it is Laura Thalassa. Wildest Dreams by Kristen Ashley, we are going to remove. Uh, the Fire Prophecy by Megan Linsky, I'm also going to remove. Sorry I'm going about this so quickly. I just don't want this video to be super long. Pucked Up by 
Megan, uh, by Helena Hunting. I've read. I don't know why that's in here. Irresistible You by Kate Meter. I'm going to remove. I've read quite a few books by Kate Meter and I don't love them. Um, but I remember a time when I had put a lot of them in my TBR because so many of um, them are hockey ones. Visions in White by Nora Roberts. I don't know why that's in here. We're going to remove it. Heartbones by Colleen Hoover. I am going to remove. I, at this point in time, I think I've decided that I will never read a Colleen Hoover book. I just don't think that she's going to be for me and I don't see the point of reading a book that I don't think that I'm going to like just so that I can rate it poorly. Like I'm not going to be that person that's just like, I don't like Colleen Hoover. No, I, I know she's not going to be for me so I'm just not going to read her books so that I am not going to be that person. Uh, Into the Fire by Mia West I'm going to remove. I don't even know what that is. The Intern by Serena Ackroyd. Maybe I'll leave. I think I read one Serena Ackroyd book and I liked it. Hothead by Damon Swede. We're going to remove. I don't even know what that is. Highlander Who Protected Me by Vanessa Kelly is a historical. We're going to leave. Culmination of Everything. Jo Christina C. Jones. We're going to leave. Private Eye. Katrina Jackson. Rogue to Remember. Let Us Dream by Alyssa Cole. We'll leave. Scoundrel of My Heart. Lorraine Heath. We're going to leave. Uh, Soothsayer by Canada Jackson, I'm going to remove. Meet Cute Club by Jack Harbin, I'm going to leave. Neon Gods by Kitty Robert, we're going to remove. I think I've decided that I don't want to read that. Auntie Up by Chris, uh, Stina C. Jones, we're going to leave. A Shadow in the Ember, I'm not going to, I'm, I'm going to, uh, remove though. I, um, like I said, told I might try book three in the From La Nash series, but just not that series. We're done. Common Goal, I'm going to leave. Rachel Reed, I've read the whole other books in the series. Clan Lands by Sam Hugh, and I'm actually going to leave. Hard Sell by Hudson Lynn. This one was a um, MM romance, I think I remember, so I'm going to leave. This one we're going to remove. It's a novella, and I just don't care. Torn by Jennifer L. Armentrout, we are removing. Bombshell by Sarah McLean, like I said, I didn't like it. Hard to Come By by Laura Kay, we're removing. Mute by M.L. Nystrom. I think I'm going to leave just because it's called Mute. Lost in the Neverwoods by Aiden Thomas. I'm going to remove. I do want to read Aiden Thomas's new book and I did like Cemetery Boys but I don't have any interest in that one. And then Inevitable Conclusions by uh, Christina C. Jones. I am going to leave. I think that's going to be it though. That is the last of, of page seven, the last book on page seven. So we got through seven whole pages. I am going to end here though because this video is going to get really long and also my camera battery is flashing and I don't want it to die mid-filming. So that's going to be it. I really hope that this was interesting. Um, I just know myself better and I know that the only way I'm going to be able to force myself to go through all of these is if I was doing it for a video. So we got through like 90 plus books removed from my TBR. So I feel really accomplished and I'm really happy. That is going to be it. I hope that you enjoyed. Please like it if you liked it and subscribe and stick around so you can see more content from me. Other than that, I hope you have a great day. Bye.